morning guys, down here at Durban's North Pier. Uh, this is a restricted area, you have to come down here to permit if you want to fish. There's been a bite here, last night we fished, we got some magnificent fish. There were sandies, diamonds, thorntails, honeycombs, so a variety of fish down here at Devil's North Pier. You need the right conditions, you need about 4 or 5 days of Northeaster, and this place really fires. We're back here this morning, hopefully we'll land a couple of fish. The guys have got a couple of fish earlier on. Uh, there was a thorntail and a couple of greys and one uh, diamond landed. I just got here now and hopefully we get a bite. First throw. So I'm fishing with my uh, grinder elite, salt grinder elite. My dog fight 8000 and you can see diamond braid. The only thing that we can fish with this did the job last night. On these bricks, uh, this rod and this reel combo work like a machine. Uh, 10 minutes every fish was on the brick landed so yeah guys our dog fight grinder lead is the way to go blackfin we got a shark on yeah i'm using the new dawa tournament 15 foot brand new It'll be available early next year. Dawa Solstice 8000. What do you got? Gates of Rave. How's your line there? Shark here in North Pier, fishing for the flatties. Uh, always a nice little exciting fight. Um, I got him on the new Dawa tournament, 15 foot. The Dawa Saltus 8000 and uh, some 80 pound gator braid. And we're just going to release this safely. Just watch the line there. Here's the tackle I used. The new Dawa tournament, 15 foot. Dawa salt is 8,000 and a 10 I must add circle hook. Uh, fishing is a lovely sport. I uh, came out to fish on the North Pier today. I met Joel. Uh, he's been very helpful in grabbing the fish, grabbing our rods and that. And uh, it just shows you when we uh, love the same thing, we all get stuck yeah. in and help each other. Yeah, it's always good to help the guys, you know, catching the fish and releasing. It's always good to help out. Shot sure, Joel. Yeah, thanks. Okay, so we here on Durban's North Pier. It's uh, just been open for fishing, so we're making the most of it. We had a nice uh, flatfish smash last night. I'm trying to get the tail end of it because I was a bit busy. Uh, just landed a small grey shark. And now I'm going to put out a bonnie head. Cut it down nicely, a bit of a smaller bait. I'm going to use a mustard 10 0 circle. Straight, straight through the top uh, and bottom lip. And I'm just trimming it down. See all the blood, and that's exactly why we use a bonnie. And uh, just gonna trim down the gill plates a bit, I'm trying to leave as much of that, that red blood as I can. And that's not gonna take long. Nice little fish here. It's definitely a flat fish. It's having a bait for a while. For some reason I don't think he realizes it's hooked. about 200 meters yeah. out uh, uh, it's holding the current there yeah. Um, yeah. just putting some pressure yeah. to try and move him a bit let's see what happens it's 15 minutes into the fight now okay. it is a very big fish it feels like either a ruben tail or a thorn tail it's fighting that way let's see what happens yeah. some pressure on it Step 
at a time. Hey guys, we're on a triple up at the moment. <laughs> Two big flat fish and what seems to be a grey shark. It has to be a quadruple up. On, uh, on the other line. Yeah, the guys are praying here that they have quadruples or... Uh, <laughs> check damage, uh, check damage. So let's see what happens. But the bites here, <laughs> and there's some really, really big fish. I've been on for about half an hour already. Let's see if we can get this fish out. It's on the surface now, but it's big and it's holding the current. I'm getting some ground slowly, but surely. Just Well, I got this fish about 30 meters from the bricks here, but I'm sitting around a rock now. I've got maximum pressure on the fish, just trying to make it swim away from the rock. Well, guys, big fish, 40 for about an hour and a half. Looked like it was a big thorn tail, as you can see. Line went around the bricks and I could not get it out. Put maximum pressure on it and it broke. One of those things, gonna re tap, re bait and get another bait out there and try them again. Had a whole week of Eastly and that's why the fish have turned on. Uh, the bait I'm using is a bonny head which I've trimmed down. Um, I actually sent it out earlier, didn't get any bites on it but it was still good so I used it as a bait. And then I wrapped two red eyes around it. I basically turned them inside out, wrapped it around the head, around the dingle dangle. And take the sinker, clip it onto the dingle dangle so that when we cast it's all one piece, nice and streamlined, and hopefully you get a good cast in. Use the salt is um, medium heavy yeah? here uh, with the Saltiga 6000 and the bait I was using is a small mackerel head. <laughs> Summer diamond ring. Took all metal. And a stroke. And atu. It's very difficult to land the fish here in the bricks. You got to actually get onto the leader and pull that fish in. And you saw what I did. I looked for a flat rock and a nice gully and I brought the fish in. Very important when you when you're handling these fish. Try and keep him on a flat surface. Do not pull him too far up the bricks because you're going to do damage to him. It's got all these organs in the center, a lot of weight. If you try to pull him up the bricks there, you're going to do a lot of damage to him. Like you see, I'm blowing up a flat rock, nice even close to the water, nice simple. It'll be a nice release, just let him slide back into the water and he's gone. Right, time for a release. Just wait for some water and we'll give him a nice little release. There he goes. As you can see he's resting himself. Now you find the way out. Okay, release, release, release. Right, turn around towards you. Why is I pull? Okay? How does it sound here? Well, you can see how difficult 
we handle the fish here. Taking a good couple of us. That's a hundred kilo plus stone too. We're in the water in a very dangerous position. I do not advise any angler who's not experienced to try this. It doesn't have good swimming capabilities because this fish will pull you in the water. So we got it under control, we got the tail secured, we got the head secured with the trace line, uh, we got this fish in water. So the fish is quite safe, it's not distressed, it's not getting hurt. We're gonna cut this cable now and let this fish go. So yeah, it's a fantastic fish. As you can see, very dangerous spikes. Those spikes will kill you. Stay away from that. You can see the uh, spikes on the, on, on, on the tail as well. It can do quite a bit of damage. So I'm gonna cut this hook and let this beautiful fish go. Let's go. As you can see, Ryan is fishing with a dogfight and the Grinder Elite. They hooked this fish. Took him about 45 minutes. He pulled it to the side. And yeah, we had to get down there, the senior guys, to land this fish for him. Very difficult terrain. Sharp rocks, deep drop off. And Ryan, fantastic work, Ryan. Excellent fish. That's a 120 kilo plus fish. So good job. You did all the hard work. We had the easy part of grabbing the tail and the leader. So, so well done. Good fish. Thank you. Guys, it was an awesome day here at North Pier. We took a gamble this morning. We smashed the fish last night and we said, let's come try again this morning. We got all big hookups. We booked four big fish. We eventually managed to land one. Ryan, the junior angler, got the fish to the side and we landed it. There should be a couple more bites. Uh, yeah, the second part of the group of guys, Ray Thompson, will be fishing here for the evening. And let's see what happens. We'll come back and hopefully get a bite in the dark. We should get a couple more fish. But yeah, what a day. Beautiful fish, beautiful bites. I eventually managed to land a small diamond uh, and land him in. Yeah, it was that type of day that we were running from side to side, hooking fish, landing fish, breaking fish. Awesome day. <laughs>